Hey guys, I wanted to walk you through um, just how to uh, use Wix to improve your site's SEO. Wix makes it actually really simple. So for those of you who are new to Wix, uh, be patient with this. It's, uh, it's actually really simple to, to learn. So we're going to select our site. This site I'm using, this is a, an actual client that I work with. Um, just to show you how effective this is, uh, this client, we're in Panama City Beach. And if I type in Seafood Market Panama City Beach, I'm getting a first place spot with, with our SEO. Um, the story behind this, which is so encouraging, is uh, we were actually very new to the market. There were several, all of these other places have been around for a very long time, um, for years. And we were able to grab that first place spot within uh, weeks and you might be thinking that's crazy and I'm not saying that that's going to be the case for all uh, industries and all marketplaces but a lot of times uh, businesses are sleeping in their SEO and they're not really optimizing their site so if you go in and do a good job it's actually relatively easy to steal steal some ground in that in that way so let me show you how I did that and it was you know, nothing too uh, nothing too crazy but let's take a look so I'm going to go to manage site here and I'm going to go to edit site. And again, Wix has some tools that are built in that make it really simple. So there's really a few, a few different areas you want to make sure that you're doing well in. Uh, we have an online restaurant here. So I, you, want, you want to make sure that the, the restaurant itself is titled well. Um, it's uh, all that information is filled out well, things like that. Um, now, if you have pictures on your site, for instance, I don't, and I don't have any pictures on this site, but uh, now this is a stripped background. It's a little different than a picture, but if you had an image on your site, you wanna, you'd want to name your image and your tooltip uh, the words that you're trying to optimize for. I don't have that on this site. Um, I think I might have that on the About page. I have a few images here. So you just want to name those images uh, and, and use the language that you're trying to optimize for as the tooltip. You can also do things like, um, these are little secrets on the side here. Let's see if, if I can find it. In fact, let me let me pull up the actual site and I'll show you an easy way to find it. Um, because I like minimalist uh, designs, so I like it to be really clean. But as you can see, where is it? At? There it is. I've actually hidden some of my uh, search words in the white space over here. So I've hidden with white text, Seafood Market Panama City Beach, which is exactly what we're trying to optimize for. Um, and other things like steam shrimp Panama City Beach and, and so on and so forth. So if you don't wanna like, and those are H1 tags, which are really uh, powerful in terms of the search engine. Um, and if, if you're confused by H1, don't be confused when you're in the Wix editor and you go to add text, just make sure you're adding the site title um, right, and this is already in white text here, so when I edit it, you'll see um, you can change it to that H1, which is a site title, or H2, or H3. Make sure you have all of those H uh, header tags um, with your optimized language. So in this case, it was Seafood Market Panama City Beach. That's the one that we really wanted to optimize on. Um, so that, that's one way you can, you can better your SEO. Uh, another way is through their little SEO engine in Wix. So that's found right here. And you want to do this for each page. Um, and then you just want to make sure that the keywords are typed in. Now you, you want to make sure on, a, on the page's title that you have your phrase first. So a mistake some people make, they'd put order online. Then they'd put the little dash or whatever, or the little uh, mark here. And then they would put Seafood Market Panama City Beach. You want to make sure that your keywords are first. They have the prime location. Uh, and then, of course, in your uh, description, you want to repeat that language. In your keywords, you want to repeat that language. Um, all, all that stuff. So, and again, on the about page, you're going to want to maybe optimize for a slightly different phrase. So this one, seafood market PCB. Maybe somebody doesn't want to type in Panama City Beach. Um, so th those are some easy ways that you can drastically improve your site's SEO. The other thing you can do is you can make multiple pages, what I would call like ghost pages or hidden pages that no one's actually going to find um, 
if they go to the website's link, like there's, it's never you're never going to link to this site, but um, they might pull it up on Google. So you might make a page and uh, optimize it just for, and this is a hidden page that I made, and I've actually hidden this one from search engines because it's got a different purpose. Um, but you might actually make a page and optimize it. I just made this page just as an example. I might come in here and optimize this as Steam Shrimp Panama City Beach. So now I have an actual page, and the name of the page is the search uh, the, the, the search query that I'm going for, right? The phrase that I want. If people type in Google, well, I have an actual web page that's named that search phrase. So that might be a strategy as well. And you can have hundreds of pages, and what you're doing is just duplicating your page, right? You just duplicate it and then change the actual title. Now, again, if you're using menus, you'll want to hide those pages, like I've hit in this one. You'll want to go here and you'll want to hide the page because you don't want it to show up on your menu, um, but you do want people to be able to find it on search engines. So, again, uh, and, and now with, with this website, I haven't done that. Uh, I haven't made hundreds of pages, which you can, but I haven't because we've really done well. In fact, let me show you our analytics here. We've really done well just with that search term, um, which again was Seafood Market Panama City Beach. Um, in fact, out of all the sites, that site is killing it with 2,410 sessions just in the last uh, couple weeks here. So that site's doing really well because a lot of people are, are finding it through the search engines. So I just want to take a quick minute and, sh and, and teach you a little bit about SEO. Um, it's not this crazy thing that you can't learn. It's actually pretty straightforward and simple. Anybody can do it. You don't need technical skill. You don't need to know how to write HTML or CSS. Uh, not anymore. You can do this just through the Wix editor very simply. Um, and I can give you some more as we go. Um, I'm going to make more of these videos. I'll give you some more tips and tricks. So if you like this video, please subscribe. And uh, I look forward to making some more videos. All right. Blessings.